Okay. So yeah, let's continue. Today we'll talk about how to join two tables, how to um, get data from um, multiple tables, okay, or two tables. Okay. So let's say, uh, <clears throat> let's say I need to know the first name and the department name. I need to know the first name and combining data from two tables. Okay. So uh, I want to know the first name and the department name. Okay. So, okay, let me go to schemas. I'm going to say use employees. Okay. And then I'm going to say select. Okay. So we want uh, F name, right? So I'm going to say select F name, comma, then department, you need um, D name. So D name. Okay. From F name is from employees. So I'll say <coughs> employees. And D name is from departments. So I'll say departments. Okay. So select F name, D name from employees and departments. If I run, what happens? How many values are there in employees? About 31 values, correct? Yes. Now, if I run it, okay. What happened? No database selected. Okay, I did not run this. I need to run this first. Okay. So see how many rows, how many values we are getting? 155. And you see, Mohammed is is in all the department. You see, you see, IV, you see, make, you see. And Niket, they in all the department. So it doesn't know how to combine the table, which means MySQL doesn't know how to combine the table. So what it has done, it has taken name from, uh, you know, employees table and mapped to all the five departments. So there are five departments. If there were hundred departments, it would have mapped to all the hundred departments. Okay, and that's what it has done. So you got uh, 31 into the number of rows in departments. So number of rows in department, we have how many? You can see from here itself. One, two, three, four, five. So five into 31, 155. That's how we got 155 rows. Each value is mapped to each value, which is not the right way to do it, okay? We need to look at department ID and then map it, okay? So this is where we have to use where. Where, okay? And you can give, a, you can say employees, dot dpt id equal to depart departments dot d no it's only did right if for department did okay so now when you say that okay no 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 don't you know um give everything instead check for department id because that's what we have done the foreign key okay now, when you run it, you see you get only 31 rows and you got the correct department. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. So, this is how you can get data. Now, the thing here is, now, let's say F name, okay? Now, I want department ID also. Now, luckily, we have put different name here, DID and, uh, uh, you know, DPTID. So if I say DID, it's going to take DID from department table, okay? It doesn't, it will not throw any error, okay? You can see the department code here. But now, let's say if both table had same column name, if there are, con if there are uh, you know, if there are columns with same name in two different tables, Okay, they may not mean same. Okay, maybe name here, name in employees would mean employee name, and name in um, department might meet might mean department name. So if you had name comma name, 
Okay, then how do you differentiate which name? Because you're getting data from employees and department. So you're combining employees and department temporarily, not permanently. So temporarily for this query, you are combining employees and departments. So if you're combining two different tables, okay, then the name column would, the, you know, there are uh, columns with same name in both the tables. So how will SQL knows which column you are trying to fetch or which column you are trying to get? So in that case, you can see here, departments.dname and employees.fname. So I'm saying F name is from employees table. D name is from departments table. Okay. You, you know, if there are different names, then you don't have to do it because then SQL knows. Okay. If D name is not in employees, it has to be from department. It knows from where to pick. In case you had common names, in case you have common names, okay, that's when you have to, it's called name collision, okay, you have to avoid that name collision, okay, so by giving the table name in front of the column name, okay, so this will give you the exact result, okay, so this is how you can combine multiple tables. Now, let's say I want to know, let's say we have some, we have not added values to uh, dependent, right? Columns, DP, DP, DPID, suppose, okay, we have not linked it to employees, okay? So, we could have linked it to employees and we could have created, you know, another. So, you could have said, and D, D uh, you know, uh, employees dot eid equal to department dot eid okay you can combine any number of any number of tables okay now let's say okay. see we have all the tables. okay so let's see how many tables we have in departments uh, not tables how many rows in in table department. Select star from departments. Okay. So when I say select star from department, uh, what do I get? So you get how many rows? You get five rows. And all five rows have been allocated. Now let's say you have a department where there is no employee. Okay. So I'm going to say insert into departments okay values okay now values i give um 107 let's say i give 107 okay and then what do you have which all columns we have D name. So let's say D name I give as, as I want to give biotech or something, let's say. Okay. So this is a department name. Say HOD is Kapil and D code is BB09, let's say. And I run it. Okay. So, okay, I added. So now you have six rows, right? But if I go and run it again, okay, you get only 155 only, right? Mm. No, I mean, sorry. Uh, 31 only okay now if you run without this you will get how many values if i don't give where clause then how many values you will get 6 into 31 now 186 okay. 186 rows you will get okay it's combining with the new value new column value also but here if you see we have no employees associated with biotech so you will not see biotech here Please, yeah. Okay, because you're talking about now. Let's say if you want to have that information also, 
So we call it as join. Okay, so this is how you perform, like, you know, when you want to get common values between them, right? Now, if you have an employee which does not have a department, let's say department has not been allocated. Okay, so let's do that as well. Insert into employees values. Okay. Um, select star from employees. Let's do that. <laughs> this is a start from employees. You have MPID, okay, to employees. So insert into employees values, MPID. So what's the last MPID? 132. 132. Let me see, 133. Comma, F name. Mm -hmm. Okay, then last name. Then DOB. So what is the format? Year, 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 9990 hyphen month hyphen date. So it is 4th May 1990. Okay. Now email. Okay. Then you have phone. Phone is a number, right? So I can say nine 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 zero 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 nine. Okay. Date of joining. Date of joining. Uh, two zero two three iPhone zero five iPhone fifteen. Okay. That is date of joining. Salary. Okay, and then department. Okay, now department. Okay, I then don't give. I yes, question. yes. Like in, if you had to insert values like manually, like this, like not that many values, so it's fine. But since like our for our thing like library management or like IPL system, whatever, there'll be like hundreds. I told of you how to values. insert using Excel, right? CSV oh, file. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. And oh. you can, um, and in uh, Python, we will see how to insert by reading data from the user. So in, data will enter the user like input, and then you mm -hmm. insert into MySQL. That will be towards our last class of uh, MySQL. Okay. We'll, we'll see how to connect from uh, uh, Python. Python. Okay, so. Now, I'm not giving all the columns. I don't want to give the department and bonus. So I have to give all these columns now email on doj salary okay so let's say if this works yeah right so we have now 32 data 32 okay 32 um, employees and we have six departments Okay, so now when I go and I say this one, I go and ru run this again. Okay, how many you got? Uh, 11. Hmm? What notes? Uh, See the last output here. 31 rows. Oh, 31. Okay, okay. Yes, so 31, right? So 32nd. Uh, that we added which did not had any employee why because we have put a condition we have put a condition what department id equal to did <laughs> so here null is there is no value null there so you are not getting that particular value because we have department id as null here right a department id null does not have a corresponding did value right only when they are equal only when they are in that table it it would it would be displayed so what message let's say if you run it for the first time okay what message the user will get who's actually the who's using the database doesn't know database so that okay only 31 employees are there in that table there could be 10 more okay 
which does not have department ID because they have not been allocated department. Let's say they are trainee and you don't have any department for trainee. They are trainee and after training, you will put them into department. Or let's say they have joined and you will take a day or two to assign them the department, let's say. Right? So for now, those employees will not be displayed, correct? Okay. So that's that's where we use something called as joins. Okay. And it's a um, important part of our discussion called joins. Okay. Now what happens in joins? Okay. I'll take one example in Excel and then I'll explain you. Okay, so what we just did, we created a table A and we created table B. And in table A, you have department ID, correct? And let's say we take only one column name. So you have department ID 1, 2, 3. Okay. And here you have name. Let's say ABC, PQR. X, Y, Z. And here you have a department DEP or DID, right? Or DEPID. And let's say you have D name, right? And here you have department ID as, let's say, 1, 2, and 5. Okay? And here you get, let's say, P, Q, and R. Okay? So you have these two departments where this uh, this column is common, right? So if we have to merge two tables together, we have to have a common column. Without common column, you can't merge, right? So you need a common column using which you can merge two tables together. So now I'm going to merge these two tables together. So see, there are different types of merge I can do. Okay, so merge is the language that we call in Python. When we do Python, we'll use pandas.merge. In, in SQL, in database language, we call them as joins. We're going to join these two tables together. Okay, so there are different types of join. Okay, first one is inner join. What we just saw there is inner join. What happens in inner join? So when you join these two tables together, you will get DEPID, right? DEPID, correct? And then you get name and you get D name, correct? Now, inner join, okay, means only the common elements between them. Only the common elements between them. Okay, so what are common between them? One and two. So you get only one and two. So inner join will have one name, which is ABC and PQR, and department name will be P and Q. That's it. Okay. So inner join will give you the common between them. This is what our default, uh, 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 this is also default join. Okay. If you don't mention which join, it is inner join. And using where you're getting inner join. Okay. Inner join is most popular. Okay. Uh, you know, by default, if you don't mention it as inner join, they're equal to what we did using where it is inner join. But not always you want inner join. Sometimes you want to see all the possible values, correct values, not like Cartesian product. What we said, Cartesian product, 31 into 6. No, not that way. You want to see, you know, connected uh, table, okay, and all the values. So we call it as outer join. Inner join is only common between these two. Outer join is all the values. Okay. If there is match or no match. So what you do here, output would be something like this. DEPID, name, and D name. And then here you will have 1, 2, and 3, and 5. Okay. All the values. So 1, 2 common. So 1, 2, and 3, and 5. Okay. Here you'll be A, B, C, B, Q, R, X, Y, Z. Do we have name for five? No. So mm -hmm. it will remain blank. 
null value. D name will be P, Q, and X, Y, Z, does it have a department name? No, no. it will be blank. And here it will be R. So this is how you perform outer join. So outer join, okay. So uh, again, so if you see from set perspective, what inner join is your intersection. Yes, yes, yes. Intersection, okay. Outer join is your union. Union. Okay. You also have something called as left outer join. Left outer and right outer. Okay. What is left outer and right outer? How do you define left and right? See, when you are giving the when you are giving the <clears throat> names, okay, when you are saying join table A and table B. When I say table A and B, A becomes left, B becomes right. Whichever table you mention first is left, okay. whichever table you mention second is right. You can't mention two tables together, right? You have to write one first and one second. Yeah. Okay, so whatever you write first becomes your left join and whatever table name you write second in join becomes your right table. Okay, outer join, join, join A and B. So A is the left table. So what I'm saying, I am saying, okay, and this ha have to mention as left, okay, left. Now, uh, you know, so if I am to do, uh, if I'm doing left, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm saying, get me all the values from left table. Okay, all the values will copy everything, right? And now whatever is there, here you will add and what is not there, you will leave it. So, Left outer means your the number of rows will be same as the table A. Okay, and corresponding value for X, Y, Z will be blank. Blank. Then you say right outer. Okay, so instead of writing right outer, let me copy and paste the same thing. Okay, I'll say right outer. Now right outer means here table B, correct? Because table B, I have said second. B is the right table. So it says, okay, get everything from, let me put this one here like this first. So you get everything from this table. And now you find Value. So for AB, you have it. So AB, you put it. And C, you will not put it. This is called right outer join. Mm. Okay, Inner means only the common. common. Outer means all the values. Okay, Left outer means left set A. Okay, Simply it is set A. Okay, And this is set B. If you have common, great. great. If you don't have common, also... Nothing to be worried about. Okay. Okay. Shall we see how it is done? Yes. Okay. So let's move on to our code. 